here we have a simultaneous question for six marks. Now remember, for a simultaneous, one of the easiest ways is the following. Step one, find the easiest looking equation. So that would be the top one. Okay, number two, get x or y alone. Now, you can choose whatever you like. Uh, for this one, I think I'm just going to get y alone. So we can say, let's call this equation one, we'll call this equation two, and then we'll get y alone. Let's first write it down normally, y minus x plus three equals to zero, and so y is equal to x minus three. So all I did was I got the y alone, and I'll call this number three now, because it's a new one. Then what you do, step three, put the new equation in the unused. So what I mean by that is put it into the other one. So we're going to put that inside number two. So I'm going to say here, substitute number three into number two. So what does that look like? It, it means that I'm going to take equation number three and I'm going to replace all the y's with x minus three because you see here it says that y is equal to x minus three. So I'm going to find all the y's and I'm going to replace that with x minus three. like that. Can you see what I did there? I replaced the y with x minus 3 and now I just solve as per normal. So I'm going to bring everything over to the left hand side. Then I make the right equal to 0 and then I can go x squared minus 3x and then the 3's are going to cancel. Now what you do is you take out a common factor of x and you'd be left with the following and so therefore x would be equal to 0 or x would be equal to 3. Now those are the x answers, but we also need the y answers. And so now what we are looking for is y. So the best equation to use would always be this number 3 that we've already made. So let's just write that over so, for ourselves over here. So y equals to x minus 3. So when x equals to 0, because I need to use both of these, right? So when x equals to 0, then y will be equal to 0 minus 3. See how I substituted it in there? And that's going to give me minus 3. So that means when x is 0, y is minus 3. So that's our first answer. Now I'm going to say when x equals to 3, which is this one over here, then y will be equal to 3 minus 3. So I just substituted it into this again, and that means that y will be equal to 0. So the coordinates for that answer will be that x is 3 and y is 0. And so these are the two answers that we have over here.